I was having lunch with, with Peter Grad, who, who was vice president of television at 20th at the time. And I don't remember how, I, I guess I asked him what he had in development, and he said, oh, well, we have this, we have that, ba 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 And he said, uh, you know, we're trying to develop a, a show for John Ritter, but, you know, we, we keep running into a, into a brick wall. That we tried this, it doesn't work. We tried that, it doesn't work. Yeah. So I don't know where, I, I just sort of said, I, you know, I know what to do with John. And in the course of lunch, I just sort of made up Hooperman. And, and they got really enthusiastic about it. And, and the deal was with ABC, because John had, had that part of the, the equation already in place. So they just slotted me in there, and, and, and we did Hooperman. It was a half-hour cop show w w w with some real comedic elements. Uh, and what I tried to do with Hooperman you know, with with limited success, it could have been better. And I, you know, if they'd picked it up for a third season, I never ran that show. Uh, I created it, and then I sort of consulted on it, but I never ran it. And when it was in danger of being canceled at the end of the second season, I said, you know, if you pick it up for a third season, I will physically, personally take it over. But they didn't do it. They should have. They should have, because it would have been a way better show. Than it, than it had been. But conceptually, it, you know, I tried to do a show that, that had almost as much story in a half hour as would normally be seen in an hour. Um, and I think that probably was a mistake. But it was a good show, good show. Could have been a really good show. John was great.